What's shaking everybody? It's your boy King and the Golden Stick coming at you today on a weekend with a haul video. And uh, it's just basically a bunch of random stuff I picked up from like different shops online, eBay, what have you. So uh, other people, what have you. So um, before I start, I just want to say uh, based on the last video I posted regarding uh, Rocket Comics, I just want to say thank you everybody for your insight to your uh for your opinions on it and what i should probably do and uh you know so you know there's some there's some things i probably could do and there's probably and there's pretty much something i can't do so i mean like i can't i mean at the end of the day i can't get my comics back so um and also i i really took some time to think about it it probably isn't rocket comics fault you know um I was, my first instinct was it, I was very mad, I was very irritated, um, and, but at the end of the day, I mean, it probably wasn't Rocket Comics' fault, I mean, it was probably UPS or USPS's fault, and, uh, I'll have to look into that deeper, um, so, you know, at the, also, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm probably not gonna get those comics back, I doubt that strongly, since it's been, like, since I put that those books in about almost a month and a half ago, thinking, you know, at some point they're going to come back. So, I mean, they did, in defense, they did send back the stuff I sent after I sent that order back to me. So, um, the, the comics I've been complaining about, you know, those are the ones I sent first. But the books I sent after that, they came back to me on a timely manner with no problems. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. So I may, re like after hearing other people's words about it, I mean, I may reconsider uh, sending stuff to Rocket Comics. We'll see. Um, depends on how I feel that day, I guess. Or who knows? Maybe I'll go into actual pressing myself and do it all myself, you know, if I can't get it done right. Who knows? But anyway, I'll, I'll think it over. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's, not really here, that's neither here nor there. I got comics here, guys. I got some books. And, um, yeah, through all that bitching and complaining I've been doing for the last few days, um, the comic pile has actually stacked up. So let me uh, get into what I have. And also got some stuff back from my, uh, you know, from CGC. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a long one, guys. So that's, or I'll try to cut it down as fast as I can. Let's start off with this. Pick this up. Um, I, it's a Marvel preview presents haunt of horror. Uh, I picked up a bunch of these actually the last couple of days and I really have been on a Marvel magazine kick. Um, I got this one. It's a raw copy of a Marvel haunt of horror and it's got Lilith in it, the daughter of Dracula. And, um, I, uh, yeah, I, I I've been, ever since I've seen videos off of, um, ETA Nick's, um, uh, YouTube page. He's always he's been posting a lot of videos about Marvel magazines and like horror magazines and what have you. I've been really on a Marvel comic magazine kick. Um, this is a raw copy. I got this just so I could read it. And um, yeah, I got a uh, CGC slab copy coming in pretty soon. So I'm looking forward to, to having that. So got that. Also have this picked up. Which is a uh, Blade Vampire Slayer. You know, that's a Marvel Magazine book that I had picked up. I really, I'm really digging these. So I'm trying, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to collect a whole bunch of uh, Marvel preview magazines. So, got a couple of these, like the Sherlock Holmes Marvel preview, which I, which I didn't even know. I was kind of surprised. That Marvel did a Sherlock Holmes uh, series and such. So I got that. I got this one, which is the Hound of Hell from Sherlock Holmes. This one, these, those two just look like good readers for me. I want to, these are something I would love to read and give a, a shot with, you know, part five. I mean, issue five and issue six. So, yeah, totally looking forward to reading these. Uh, pick this one up, and that's Marvel Preview Presents, number issue number two. And that one is really having to do with the Punisher. Uh, really, his origin. It's an, uh, I believe this is a Punisher origin story. So, I'm totally, totally, totally looking forward to reading that. And I might just read it and have it slabbed. Um, 
It's really good condition. Presents very well. Um, but yeah, so I got that. Also picked up these uh, Marvel previews. Master of Terror. You know, so I picked that up. Also picked up a lot of Marvel preview stuff, guys. Just for a heads up. Bizarre Adventures 2. Um, I don't think I have number one for that. Actually, no, I do. Scratch, scratch that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bizarre Adventures. You know, Howard Chaykin cover. You know, and Chaykin, I liked Chaykin back then. He was pretty good back then. Not, I don't know if I'm big on Chaykin anymore, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give these a read. You know, I had to read these all the way through, but I also picked up this one. Marvel Previews Presents. It's a UFO connection. No clue what it's about. I just wanted to just load up on these Marvel Preview books, and they're great, honestly. Just looking at these are just, they, they just present so damn well, you know? And, uh, yeah, guys, let me see. I'm probably going to do this video only on Marvel Magazines, because, like I said, it's so much to, to show you guys. But, uh, I don't know, I've been crazy about the Marvel, you know, Marvel Magazines lately, and I really, really like them, you know, so... Did that. Got a copy. I got a raw copy of Star Lord. Only because I got. I want to read this one. And I got the CGC copy of Star Lord. So, you know, I just want to read that as well. And I have a raw copy of this Star Lord copy. But I decided to get the CGC copy as well. Um. Claremont had a hand on writing uh, the Star Lord stuff here, and Chris Claremont, you know, had a had a pretty big hand on writing this stuff. And guys, this stuff is like some old school stuff. This is like it's not heavy metal like it's in the area of heavy metal, not boobs and everything all over the place. And but I mean, there was like nothing really held back. Is what, is what I'm trying to say, and that's what I, that's what I loved about these. Uh, Marvel preview magazines. I mean, nothing was really held back. You know, there was, it was nothing like, like say, uh, I, God, what's the code? The, um, you know, the, uh, the comics authority code kind of, I mean, when they threw boobs in here, they threw boobs in here and it's kind of cool. Um, I have a raw copy of this. I picked up for like a, about three bucks. Yeah. I mean, it was like a spine roll mess, but it's still readable, you know? So I got that. And then also, last but not least, picked up this uh, Marvel Pre Presents Star Wars, first appearance of Star Lord, and that's uh, issue number four. And this one uh, huh, presents as a 9.0, so 9.0. And uh, so I got that, and also got the got a raw copy I bought of somebody for a couple bucks. And uh, this one's <laughs> this one's missing two staples on it, so it's being held by one staple. So. For me, if I was going to read this, I'm going to open it up carefully. So, um, actually, I'm going to probably break these videos down into small, smaller videos. I don't want to overdo it right now, but I would. But I definitely did start it out right. But um, yeah, Marvel Pre presents magazines, man. I'm really all over this stuff. I really, I, I blame you, ETA Nick. I really do, sir. Um, <laughs> you really had me going on a lot of these books, and I'm totally down for picking up a lot of these things so yeah guys uh that's about it um let me see other than that i got nothing else um like i said i'll probably break i mean i got some other stuff but like i said i don't want to drag it out but uh like i said before i'm a, i'm big on this whole marvel magazine kick now i gotta get myself a a box to hold these magazines in which is hilarious but anyway guys i gotta go be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys somewhere down the line somewhere in the next video all right, peace.